six, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Essex here with the new Kubota LA435 front loader. I'm going to take a couple minutes here today and show you around this piece and talk about some of its new features. When it comes to features on a loader, this thing is absolutely decked out. It's got all the bells and whistles on it that you can offer on a modern compact tractor loader. Kubota started here with the Swift Hatch system on the BX series tractors about two years ago and it's proved to be very, very popular. These couplers are standard equipment on these loaders now and they've been added for very little cost, which is really significant. Big single lever couplers like this are often used on big ag tractors and large equipment and there's several hundred dollar options approaching a full grand in order to have this level of flexibility and comfort on your tractor. The big benefit of these versus a Pioneer coupler is that they're very easy to remove and reconnect again. So a traditional Pioneer coupler, when it's out in the weather, it can build up pressure very easily behind those couplers, making them very difficult to reconnect again. And oftentimes you'll see guys poking screwdrivers onto the inside or having to take wrenches to open up the fittings in order to relieve the pressure inside of those lines. But with these single lever couplers, you have the added leverage of that lever when you lock the coupler down into the place in order to get it reattached again so you can actually overcome some of the hydraulic pressure that might be in the lines. So that in and of itself is a lot easier and then you just have that added convenience as well of just being able to snap everything all in one shot. So on this tractor the location of this thing makes it such that you can remove the loader without leaving the seat of the tractor and I'll show you a little bit later then how I can reach that handle from the seat of the machine. You'll notice the profile of this loader looks a little bit different than most, and that's because of the self-leveling arms here on the top. Self-leveling is a feature that you normally don't see in small tractors, but Kubota has this mechanical kit here now to allow that to be an option. Uh, these levers, these big arms here on the top, will mechanically pivot as the loader goes up and automatically pull the bucket back as the load raises. Now, if you're in an application where you have pallet forks, this is something that's really worth looking at. As the load goes up and down, the mechanical self-leveling system will keep those pallet forks level as your loader goes up and down. For dirt work, sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain because it will cause the bucket to move when you may not want it to, uh, but for lift and carry applications, it's really worthwhile. I'm gonna do a dedicated video a little bit later on this self-leveling system. Um, sometimes you will periodically see that the geometry that this brings to the loader does sometimes increase your lift capacity as well. So we're going to do an A-B test here in a future video to see whether that's actually the case in this installation or not. You'll see here in the back side of the bucket, I've got an industry standard skid steer coupler. So if I want to drop off my bucket and put on that set of pallet forks we were just talking about, it's as easy as lifting these two levers, rolling the bucket off, and then driving into a set of forks. Uh, this is a piece that we nearly make standard equipment here at our dealership now. Um, it is possible to order pin-on buckets where they will pin back onto the loader. That will save you a little bit of lift capacity, but in our opinion, the little bit of capacity that you give away is well worth it for this industry standard functionality. So you can then go out to all sorts of companies that are look for unique attachments, push boxes, blades, power forks, you name it, that are really being tailored to these tractors now because of this standard coupler. And a lot of those things you're going to find are priced really, really well. Um, I'm a big fan in our area of push boxes. We tend to get a lot of light snowfalls that sometimes big equipment and big snowblowers don't handle real well. But a little thousand dollar push box in the front of this thing snapped onto the front of that coupler is a very easy and quick way to take care of some of those unique tasks. So I'm going to start the machine up here to show you exactly how this swift hatch loader works. So we'll sit down here and crank this thing up. I'll raise my loader up in the air. And on my left hand side, I have a lever down here that's gonna release my parking stand. Now, if you roll your bucket down, when you push this lever down, it'll release the stand. And when you roll forward, it will lower down your two parking stands, okay? Once those are down, you can lower this down to the ground and then touch the parking stands onto the ground, but then use the front lip of the bucket to actually pick the tractor up in the air. Don't put all the weight on the parking stands. Once that's done, you can reach forward here and lift the two paws that are holding the loader onto the tractor. And when you roll this thing shut now, it'll pop right away from the machine. The first time or two that you do this, these things tend to stick a little bit when the paint's brand new. Uh, you won't have to jostle that like that, like I just had to in order to get it come off after you've done it a time or two. 
Once you've done that, you want to sit down and turn off the machine and then take the loader stick and work it in every direction. Now you do this every time you remove a loader to equalize the pressure that's in the hydraulic lines. Once you've done that, you can reach forward here, pull out the little red button and raise that lever to release all four hoses. Okay. Once we've done that, we start our tractor back up and back away from the loader. Just like that, I've removed my loader without leaving the seat of my tractor. And that <laughs> is the second time that I've done that um, on this series machine. It is shockingly easy if you've done loaders from years gone by. To put it back on again is just the reverse. Uh, one thing to note here, you see the, uh, that I have the single lever coupler just kind of dangling here. The, uh, the self-leveling kit that you put on here does cover up a bracket that they have to store that single lever coupler in. It's not a big deal, you could just flip it over top of the loader arms, but there is a nice bracket to store that that does get covered up by the uh, self-leveling arm. So if we come up here, reach forward and grab my hydraulic hoses, line these guys up, lock down my handle. That's all four of my hydraulic lines. And we're gonna creep back forward here and then lower the loader back down into the sockets, curl it back into the machine and lift my tires up in the air. And when I do that, I can flip my two paws closed, which is gonna lock the loader onto the tractor. Raise this guy up in the air and curl my bucket shut. And when I curl shut, I roll back my parking lot stands and lift that in order to lock the parking stands in place. So that very simple process right there is removing and installing a swift patch loader. So that's a little bit on the LA435 swift patch loader and the self-leveling arms as well. I've got a whole lot of videos about tractors, equipment, all kinds of things. If you hit that subscribe button up there, I'm sure I've got a lot of things that you can learn about your equipment and machinery. If you have any questions, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com.